Hi everyone, my name is Wyatt Huff, and this is my testimony. I grew up without my real dad, but uh, my stepdad, he was an abusive drunk. Drugs and alcohol was daily occurrence. You know, it was a normal thing to be stepping over my, my passed out uncles or my passed out aunties on the floors and um, just going on with my day at a young age. Um, I guess as I grew older, I started to get more exposed to the world and what I had to offer. So this led me to uh, leave home and <clears throat> start hanging out on the streets. I started hanging out on the streets maybe around the age of 12. I started smoking, stealing, started doing whatever I could to find acceptance. All the people that I surrounded myself with were people that I thought had cared about me, that I thought that I could call family. And at the end of the day, you know, they wouldn't be there. So <clears throat> this led me down a dark and long journey of being a broken girl, trying to find a way. Later on down the track, um, I would be doing this for a couple of months until I got sent to New Zealand. Um, and also I met my dad maybe once or twice. Both times he was drunk, smashed off his face. And um, I started getting a life for myself, I guess, in New Zealand. Until one day I came home from school and all of my family's in the lounge room and I'm sitting there, I'm like thinking, oh my gosh, what did I do? I must have done something wrong, like I'm in trouble, something bad has happened. My Nana got diagnosed with cancer, <clears throat> which ultimately the decision was for me to move back to Australia. And so here it was again, this was my rejection, this was my, just, you know, this is the, everyone just hates me and they just want to get rid of me. And this is me feeling unaccepted. So I come back to Australia, um, I'm back into my old habits, I'm living with my mum and I'm not going to school, I'm not doing anything. One day my friend invited me out to church and we went to a testimony concert with Matt Maddox. And I heard his testimony and I, I sat in the crowd and I, and I thought that, you know, if this guy's life could change so dramatically, if things could go right for him, surely, surely God can do something. And so I got saved on the 29th of March, 2015, five years ago. And ever since then, God's just been doing crazy things. I'm, I finally have a purpose. I finally have an acceptance in God. I don't have to worry about being fatherless because He is the ultimate father. And um, I'm just so blessed to be able to be surrounded by friends and family and people who genuinely care about me. And most of all, I can be who I am in Christ. Thank you.